Hello guys, Gaon2345678900 here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Unary Edition. Now before I get into what Unary Edition is, I'm going to explain what Unary is. Unary is simply base 1, and as I've explained in my adder tutorial, the base of a number system simply refers to the base of an exponent, where the exponent itself refers to the uh, place of a digit within a number. And so, since uh, 1 raised to anything is going to be equal to 1, every digit within a unary number is uh, of equal value. So uh, this number, for example, 101011 is equal to 1111, and they're both equal to 4 in decimal. So let's explain what a unary adder does. A unary adder simply takes all inputs and right justifies them. So basically it adds all inputs, whether they're 0 or 1, and turns them into a right justified unary number. So let's build this. Um, like any adder, we are going to have a carry. However, since the carry in is 1 and the carry out is also 1, uh, there is no need for any extra logic. We only need AND gates. So, as in any adder, the carry is going to be composed of diodes. And so, yeah, the inputs are going to be right here. Oops. And notice there's not going to be any backflow because of the uh, the uh, half slab. So yeah, notice this forms a diode, meaning the the signal only flows in one direction, it only flows left, and that's important. So the logic we are going to use is if the carry to the right of an input, for example, this relative to this, if it's on, then this output will generate, a, this input will generate a carry out and input to the next layer. So, for example, if I power these two, this will not generate a carry out, but this one will. So let's build an AND gate. An AND gate, as I have shown before in my uh, logic gate tutorial, is simply uh, inverted inputs or those and then invert the output. So it's just that simple. So let's build uh, three of these since uh, this one has no carry to its left, I mean to its right. All right, and that's it. should go there. Oh, whoops. Okay, now let's make the next layer. The next layer is simply going to be uh, this layer, but, uh, well, shifted a little bit because of the way I built this. But this time, instead of four inputs, we're going to have three inputs. And you can see the pattern. Uh, that means we're going to have to stack this uh, four times. I mean, three times more. Oops. Hmm. I must have copied this wrong. And there we go. So this is a unary adder. Now all we have to do is remove the extraneous bits, and we will be done. Oh, whoops. Ah. There we go. Now I'm going to add uh, 
lamps to the output so it can be more clearly seen and we'll just add uh, levers to the inputs and there we have it a unary adder so I'm going to input 1011 and we'll see how it outputs notice the outputs are the same as the inputs the same number of outputs are on as num the number of inputs but now it's right justified so let's just uh, change these up so you can see and there you go. Two inputs are on, two outputs are on, but they're right justified. Yep, and it's just that simple. And this is uh, probably my most compact design and fastest. It's only two ticks per layer and, well, fastest without pistons. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to uh, come do redstone with some awesome people, uh, I recommend the uh, RDF server, and our IP is mc.redstonedev.net, and uh, our website is redstonedev.net. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.